Alright, we'll start using node B. Um, two parts of this question on Venn diagrams and sets. Part A list the letters in the following sets. Now I've drawn some uh, Venn diagrams that match the one that we're looking at, except without the detail, purely so that we can shade in the areas that are asked for. So the first one is set A. Well, set A is clearly left hand circle, so we can simply just shade this one in so that we know which one we're looking at. So everything in that area is going to give us the answer we're looking for. So we can say that A is equal to this area or this one which is equal to P Q R and S. Moving on to part B. B is equal to well yeah, so no. this time it's this one that needs to be shown so we'll just show over here. And we can see that B contains the letters S, T, V, and W. So we'll just simply put those inside the brackets. S, T, V, and W. And then on to part 3, which is A, V, and B. So A, V, and B is equal to, well, first of all, we need to decide what A means and B means in terms of shading. So it's everything in A and everything in B. So it's going to be this part here. Let's do that part in this one, thank you. Um, so it's everything there and everything here. So we can clearly see that that's all these letters, those four there, plus those three as well. So PQRS. TVW. And the next part four, which is the complement of A. B and A will be or dashed. Now, we already know what A and B is, it's this. So, therefore, A and B or dashed in the complement of A and B is going to be everything that is not shaded on this one, which is the outside area only. But remember, we can't have the two sets A and B shaded because they're not included in the complement of A and B. So A and B looks like that. And then all we've got to do is find the letters that are in the shaded area, in this case A, E, R, O, U. To pay, uh, sorry, not page on to question five. And five is A union B dash. Now, this one needs to be a little bit careful with. So, it's everything in A, so let's put everything in A. And everything not in B. So B is going to say everything's not in B. So it's going to be this area to C. 
So the end part of the card hand is that white part there, which is the bit that contains T, V, and W. Everything else we can have. So we put everything else into the brackets. So A, E, I, and V. Good idea to sort these out into alphabetical order, but I'm not going to do it on this tutorial. Um, and then we've got six A dash one B. So everything that's not in A, so not A, it's A dash intersection B. So everything that's not in A, so we do that. Straight away, everything is not in A. So this A on the outside, plus part of B as well. But there is a part of B that is in A, so we can't have that part of B. Okay, and the intersection will be so it's, it's going to be in this shade area but also in B as well. So, what we'll do now is we'll shade all of B, which is this part, we'll shade all of it, but we can only use the part. It's got the cross hatching in it, so again, it's just this part here that we can use. Um, so, on this one, A intersection B is equal to the cross hatched part, which is T B W. So there we have A dash intersection B. All the elements that are in A dash and also in B. So that's that part there. Okay, move on to part three. We have to find the number of elements in a couple of sets. So the first one is the number of elements in A, U, and B. So we'll just write that as A. A B is well A and B all of that plus all of that so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven elements in A and B. Part two number of elements in A intersection B dash. Okay, so this one is strictly to be found in the set A, but it also has to include elements of the complement of B. So it can be in A, it's got to be in A, but it's also got to be in B dash. So there's A, and there is B dash plus that part of A. So B dash is that part of A plus the outside. And A is in that part there. So the only elements we've got that are in A, which is those four elements there, P, Q, R, S, and B dash, which are P, Q, R, A, E, I, O, U, R, P, Q, and R. So, Three elements there. 